Hello, Charger family. This is Mrs. Boyd at Mrs. Boyd's Math Room coming at you today to talk about distance and midpoint formulas. Um, so first off, we need to remember that when we plot points, they go the, the everything goes in alphabetical order. So we plot a coordinate point and it's X and then Y. So we're going to want to have to find to use the distance and midpoint formulas. We're going to need two different coordinate points and we're going to label them x1 y1 x2 y2 it's going to feel a little bit off the bat like we're going to find slope but it's just a smidge different so today we'll be using we're just going to be plugging and chugging into formulas for the most part so first you're going to need the distance formula and the distance is d and that equals a big square root and underneath the square root we're going to have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so again, we're going to be using those x1, y1, x2, y2 points that we need to use these formulas. Next to the midpoint, we do mp for midpoint, and that equals, now the midpoint is going to come to us as a coordinate point. So it's going to come in parentheses. So we'll do x1 plus x2 over 2, and then y1 plus y2 over 2. It's like the average of the x values gives us this x point, and the average of the y values gives us this y point. My dog is going to bark in the background. Never mind him. All right, first and foremost here, we're gonna find the midpoint of line A, B. Well, first, we, let's label all these points. Um, list their coordinate points. A is one to the right, so that's one, and two up. So A is at point one, two. B is one, two, three, four to the left, so that's negative four, and one, two, three up, so that's positive three. C is on the y-axis, so it is none left or right, and one down, so that's negative one. The midpoint between A, B, we will do, first let's list what A and B are. A is at one, two, B is at negative four, three, and we're gonna call those x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so we need a big parentheses, and our formula is x1, one, plus x2, which is negative four, divided by two. And then the y portion of that is y1 plus y2 over 2. We got to simplify just a bit. 1 plus negative 4 is 1 minus 4. So that's negative 3 over 2. And the y portion 2 plus 3 is 5 over 2. So that's the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of B, C. Well, let's list our points again. Negative four, three, and zero, negative one. And we will call those X1, Y1, X2, Y2. All right, so we've got X1 plus X2 over two, and then Y1, plus y2 over 2. That point is going to be negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4 over 2. 3 plus negative 1 is 3 minus 1, so that's 2 over 2. We can simplify that just a bit, and we get negative 2, 1 is our point in between b and c. Um, let's plot these points just so we can see what it looks like 
negative one and a half for the midpoint of a b and then one two and a half so this is the midpoint of a b midpoint of bc is at negative two one so if you look from b to, to the midpoint and then c to the midpoint that looks like it could stand up all right now we need the midpoint of ca so let's do zero negative one and one two x1 y1 x2 y2 all right x portion um x1 plus x2 over two whoopsie wrong need a comma here sorry about that and then y1 plus y2 over two well, that is one half and negative one plus two is positive one, one half, one half. Looks like it would be where that point is. Um, it would lay right about there, which looks to be pretty much in between A and C. Um, now we're gonna use those same points, uh, but use the distance formula instead. The distance of AB, of line segment AB, well, let's write down those points as well. One, two, negative four, three. Right. So we have X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So the distance is gonna be the square root of X2 So negative four, don't forget that's in parentheses, minus x1 is one squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Well, that's the square root of negative five squared plus one squared. Well, that's the square root of 25 plus one or the square root of 26. Let's do the same thing for BC. This would be a great place if you follow where, what we're doing for you to go ahead and pause here and try these on your own. So we'll label x1, y1, x2, y2. We put them in our formula. Difference in x's. So 0 minus negative 4. 4 squared plus difference in y's, negative 1 minus 3 squared. Oh, the square root of negative, oh, that's actually positive 4 squared plus negative 4 squared. Well, that's the square root of 16 plus 16 or the square root of 32. Um, okay, the last distance pair we've got to do is between on line segment CA. So let's list our points here. 0, negative 1, 1, 2. So the distance is the square root of the difference in x's. So that's the square root of 1 plus well, 1 squared plus 3 squared which is the square root of one plus nine or the square root of 10. Here's a little word problem. Let's figure this one out real quick. Find the coordinates of the end point of B if the midpoint of segment AC, oh, if B is the midpoint of segment AC, five, four, and B is six, three. Um, okay, so, Let's draw a picture, makes more sense to me. We know that A and B is there in the center and C. So A, B and B, C are the same length and we know the midpoint. So we know that the midpoint is six, three, and we know that we can fill in half of the distance of the midpoint formula. Um, oops, wrong one, so sorry. No square root this time. This is going to be 
the average. So we know we've got five plus X two over two and four plus Y two over two. So let's do these, look at these separately. Six equals, we're just gonna look at the X part together. Five plus X two over two. So I can multiply both sides by two to get the x2 out of the fraction. So that's 12 equals, those twos cancel out. Five plus x2, we subtract five from each side and we get x2 is seven. We wanna do the same thing for the y portion. We have three equals four plus y2 over two. Same process, we multiply both sides by two those cancel, we've got six equals four plus y2. We can subtract four and y2 is two. So the coordinate point for B is uh, seven, it looks like negative seven, so sorry. This is written incorrectly in the question so I couldn't take my eyes off it. So seven, two. So this should say that C is six, three, point six, three. Nope, just kidding. We want the midpoint of section. Okay, it's written correctly, sorry. Woo, that took me a second to figure that out in my brains. Seven, two is the answer, it doesn't matter. Woo, lordy. All right, moving on. We're gonna do the distance on a number line. It's just a little bit different. We know that the distance here is gonna be the absolute value of A minus B, or the distance can also equal the absolute value of B minus A, because distance does not have a, uh, a negative or a positive value. If you go five miles to school, you don't go negative five miles home from school, you just go five miles in another direction. So that negative implies a direction where we're just caring about the, the sheer distance at this point. Um, the midpoint on a number line is gonna equal A plus B over two. So this is only looking in one dimension, not in two. So we don't need two coordinate points to make a number line distance and midpoint. All right, so our points here are at two and nine. What the distance between them? It's the absolute value of nine minus two, or the absolute value of seven, or just seven is the distance. The midpoint, we add the two points together and divide by two, so it's 11 over two. Same thing for the next one. Uh, the distance, negative two minus two, in absolute values, that's the absolute value of negative four, and that's four. Or we just count the lines between them, one, two, three, four. Midpoint, negative two plus two over two, well that's zero over two, which is totally zero. Um, we've got distance, absolute value of negative one plus Oh, nope, sorry, well, minus. Um, one and a half. Or the absolute value of negative two and a half. Or two and a half. Midpoint. A, negative one plus one and a half over two. Well, that's 0.5 over two, or one fourth. Last but not least, negative 2.5 minus 2.5, that's negative five. Absolute value, that's just positive five. The midpoint, negative 2.5 plus 2.5 over two is zero. 
Um, scoot Dawn down the way. Find the missing y coordinate if the distance from 5, 9, and negative 7 y is 15 units long. Okay, let's write out our distance formula again. This is the two variable distance formula. So we need the square root, uh, difference in x's plus difference in y's. Let's label these points. x1, y1, x2, y2. And we know the distance is 15. So 15 is the square root of negative 7 minus 5 squared plus y2 minus 9 squared. Let's simplify a little bit. Square root of negative 12 squared plus y2 minus 9 squared. Um, let's simplify again. That is the square root of 144. I'm going to do this next part over here on the side because it may have to be reviewed for you. We, it's been a minute since we did it. When we square a binomial, that means we have to multiply two by the same binomial by itself twice. This We use the FOIL method. FOIL for first times first which is y squared, and we'll drop that y2 because it doesn't really matter. O is for outside, y times negative 9 is minus 9y. I inside, negative 9 times y, so that's negative 9y again. And L for last, negative 9 times negative 9 plus 81. We simplify this and we get y squared minus 18y plus 81. I'm going to put that under the square root. Oh, that's 18, not 81. All right, so we need to simplify under this square root a little bit. It's going to leave us with y squared minus 18y plus 225. So get rid of the square root. I can square both sides. And that means the square root disappears on the right. And I square the left hand side. Well, now I can subtract this 225 from each side and get 0 equals y squared minus 18y. And I can easily factor y out, like a reverse distributive property, and make this y minus 18 equals 0. So you might remember, I hope so, knock on wood, that if you multiply two things together and their product is 0, then at least one of them has to be 0. So we set each of these, this is 1, and this is the other, equal to 0. So we have y equals 0. And y minus 18 equals 0, or y equals 18. So the missing y coordinate can be either 0, oh, so sorry, wrong, wrong, negative 7, 0, or negative 7, 18 will give you the same distance from that point. Hope this makes all sorts of sense to you. I hope you're doing amazing. You know how to reach me if you need any help, and I hope to see you soon.